All right, we had the paint shop, man. I had to literally fly uh, five hours to come pick the engine color. I was cool with uh, sleep doing it, and then he told me, oh, man, you might not like it, or it looks different in person. So literally came out here for 10 hours to do this, show some of the progress. We're going to go back to the shop, show you how I finished, but I think this is the one right here. We over here arguing, y'all. Facts. We over here arguing. But then when you look at it, this is why. 180 different shades of shit. And they all look like they'll be good. <laughs> this shit is crazy. But I think we got the right one, though. I'm bugging, the burgundies ain't shit. Yeah. But, all right, I'm going to hop off here. Go go back to the shop. Not catch up with y'all then. While we're here, let me look at these wheel wells. Show y'all this. You still got to finish it, but they're coming along. A lot of detail work, but it'll be worth it in the end. El Camino is back, about to get reassembled. He did a smart thing and got new wheel wells, but same thing, bears. It's gonna be a super clean one. at sack speed do a quick update on um the end of progress i know y'all saw it in paint shop but here it is a little bit cleaner and some better lighting firewall done frame done every crevice hit extremely pleased with how this came out even behind the bumper, behind the grill. Of course, board's fully smoothed out. All the holes filled in. One with new hardware, chrome, Allen head. So we're gonna do this all along the side. Hand just got hit. And once the wheel wells get back in, we're going to do all 16 of those. So once you open the engine bay, that'll be all it. So I did come down. You probably already see it before we uh, get to this part just to pick the color. And how we go drop in the motor. But just want to show you all the updated progress from where we started. Uh, I'm going to lift it up on the lift and uh, show you how it looks underneath now that we redid the undercoat. And uh, show you how the brakes and all that stuff afterwards. So for this setup, we did uh, six piss sand with 14 inch rotor. So that'd be on all four corners. Um, definitely be huge if you caught the live. Got to see how big it was. It's a workout right there, boy. 
So I think that'll fare pretty good versus the uh, interior. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Motor to match, everything. So once we repaint it and all that stuff, after a certified summer, we still going to keep the theme of the maroon-ish, cranberry-ish, whatever you want to call it. And put it in there. Also, we got a real nice piece from uh, Goose Performance. Shout out to him. It's going to be our radiator cover. So I got it in the satin finish. Uh, make sure I don't fuck nothing up. And you see how it's going to sit in there. We got the accessories. You know, that's kind of like a little off black. It ain't really gloss, but it ain't really satin. So I think it'll mesh really well. Break up a little bit of uh, the gloss so you can pay attention to all the welded in spots. Just some little small detail stuff. Let me throw it on a lift and uh, let y'all see up underneath so I get up out of here. We did get the vintage air installed. My boy, uh, Super Sport James on Instagram. Definitely check him out. I don't know if I got enough space to open the door. But he got all, all my excess wiring cleaned up. Everything looked real super clean now behind there. Facts. Look, all that. <laughs> so he got that super clean. I can't wait to have, you know, reliable AC, defrost, all that stuff. We can really turn into a daily if I wanted to. That's the whole goal. Got everything done over. So that way we just as clean underneath. Did the undercoating again. We did just about everything except for frame off just cause he didn't want to pull it into here. We didn't have the time frame to make LS Fest. So we would have lost that. But yeah, everything coated. New gas tank coming. I love it. We're gonna taking all this out. We got a new quick performance. Huge shout out to them. Uh, four nine inch. So it's gonna be a pretty nice car, man. Once you get, once we get it all put back together. All right, so that's it for this one, man. Uh, literally, ten hour or <laughs> five hour flight on the ground for ten hours. Literally just came to pick the motor color, show y'all the brakes, uh, show y'all the radiator support that we got, um, the vintage. And we are, I think, 21 days, 22 days to uh, load up time for LS Fest. So let's see if we make it. See y'all in April, man. right about the sheen that you want but I've got to put the clear down to protect it so right now that's what I'm doing there's a ditch get down inside all down inside there so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm spraying out the uh, clear I got to do different spray outs on it with different mixing ratios so that's it right now it's shiny obviously so as soon as it starts to dry it'll start to dole up and that's when I can find the sheen <laughs> All right, 
We're back at Sack Speed Shop. We got the motor painted. All the little details. Got the valve covers here. We're going to be running with two piece. Hide the coils. The holly popped out there. Works in. All new. Pro Forge. So that way we ain't putting, uh, you know, old stuff in front of new stuff. See, you guys got brand new suspension and still got rusted components. You know, this nigga don't know how to shut up. And we got the brakes installed too. Let's see if I can lighten it up a little bit. So this came out dope. You shout out to Bear. Got the what's about Wade on there engraved. Look good behind the 24. 14 inch. Six piston. Oh, uh, ERP hardware going in. Huge shout out to three guys at uh, Quick Performance. My homie Playboy Jeezy. Got me hooked up. Took him about four weeks to get here, but well worth it. So we're gonna take this and uh, color match it to the motor. Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting heavy. About 14 days to LS Fast and uh, now it's real crunch time. Got the motor dropped in, all mocked up. So it's perfect in there. Got the Holly valve covers on. Real nice hardware on them. And even with the intake, we uh we got clearance for the hood to close. So that worked out perfect. Some little details. Love how the color came out. It's uh, kind of a semi-gloss finish, kind of a match of bird coppers, but I was expecting it to be satin. The satin's on back order. So you had to actually make this clear, like the old school days. Got the ATI balancer. As I said before, all new steering stuff. Borgeson. Pro Forge. So everything up front is gonna be brand new. You see it from the side, you'll be able to see how the calipers and uh, motor go together. I think that's a perfect hit. See it there, you can come down. Yeah, that's a hit right there. So let me get up out of here, get on my flight. And uh, 14 days away, man. Let's see what it do for LAS Fest. I'll check back in with y'all soon.